Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me Shwebby! Hello and welcome to some more Sim Speed Building! Oh yes! We're getting ever closer to finishing this Gamer Mansion and I am absolutely excited with every new request that we get. If we can get this to be a three-story mansion, then that will be amazing. So today's request is from none other than Galacticat. He was wanting an arcade room. With the DLCs that I have, I was able to come up with something very creative because I don't have like just arcade stuff, so I kinda did like a mixed batch of things. If you guys haven't stopped by Galacticat's channel, go ahead and do so. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. He plays a variety of games, like I'm talking like various indie horror games. He's in the middle of playing Outlast 2. He just finished Mad Father. He does play other games such as Conan, and party hard. Overall, just a lot of fun, and I absolutely love his commentary. So, without further ado, let's get to the speed building.
And now, it is time for everybody's favorite part, the grand tour and explanation from the Schwibis. So, first off, I'm gonna explain the color. <laughs> Cause uh, it went from like red and blacks. I have like two or three rooms that are dedicated to the theme color of black and red. Nothing wrong with it. However, I went to purple, pink, and blue because that is like in Galactic Cat's avatar and his banner. So I kind of wanted to like make that bit of an homage using the various colors. So we did manage to have these huge arcade thingies and I believe both of these can have up to four sims on them. Maybe, I don't know, I've never used it. Um, actually, to be perfectly honest, I have played as like actual Sims characters for maybe a total of two hours. I have logged more hours into just building stuff than I have actually played Sims. So I don't know, maybe, that's a huge maybe. I only say it's four because it looks like there's like four controller thingies there. So I mean, you're looking at like what, 12 different Sims that would be able to play all at once? That's maze balls. But anyways, let's get back to the room. This thing here is the thing of the future. This is a motion sensor gamepad. We're talking like VR of the future. It does like holographic stuff and oh my god. The thingies that I put on the side are, um, what are they called? They're like lights of some kind. Hypomatic laser lights. So basically it'll do light shows. I figured why not just make it all trippy and stuff. Over here, this is a karaoke machine. I kind of, like like I said, I didn't have enough to do like a huge like arcade room, so I kind of improvised a little. I decided why not throw in a karaoke thing because I wanted this to be kind of like a chillax room and just have fun and goof around. And I know of plenty of places where if they have like, uh, what is it, Five Guys or something like that, they'll have like, like loads of arcades. In some cases, they'll have like karaoke machines and things like that, and it's really fun. The different posters that I put on the wall are in my mind, anyways, it's not exactly what they are, are supposed to be posters from the various games that have come out and things like that, so. Uh, and then, I don't know what these creatures are, but they're so cute, so I'm just going to say that they're like the Pokemon and Digimons of this world, so. Yeah, the power of the imaginations, why not? And then this, like, what is this? Like a freaking, uh, what is it called? Maybe it was Transformer. I don't know. No, Gundam. That's what it was. Kind of reminded me of a Gundam, and I lost it within that split second of staring at it, because, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a green Gundam. And over here, I've put in a bar section, because who doesn't like to have snacks readily available whilst you're gaming? And I can only imagine just how crazy that would be trying to, like, eat popcorn and stuff while you're trying to do the, the motion sensor VR gamepad thing, like, trying to do whatever and, like, shove food in your face while you're at it. But yeah, I made it to where snacks are readily available for the Sims while they're here, and there's plenty of seating arrangements all over the place. But overall, Galactic Cat, I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this. As always, my Shubles, this is a community building project. If you have any requests for various rooms that you'd like to have added to the, the Gamer Mansion, feel free to just leave it in a comment down below or hit me up via Twitter. I'll be leaving a list of all the rooms that are completed down in the description below as well. That way there's no repeats because I was having issues with that a couple of videos ago. So this should help alleviate said issue. And as always, my jewels, if you loved it, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's hear those battle cries. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you guys in the next episode.